pumpkin spice and gay rights. Woo! <laughs> Hello there. What? What's up, my NSAFs? Welcome to my channel. So today is super exciting because today I am starting volume two of Ruby, episodes one and two, best day ever, and welcome to Beacon. I'm super excited to get into this because volume one was great. Volume one ended amazingly. You know, you know, you know. I just am looking forward to seeing what the hell volume two is gonna bring now. But we got some interesting information at the end of volume one. So I'm excited, I'm really excited. I was showing off the new merch design. This is one of three limited edition Halloween designs. They are only going to be available for the month of October. So when you're watching this, they are already on sale right now. One of the designs is this really cute gay and spooky design with a really cute ghost. We have this one, the pumpkin spice and gay rights and we also have the gayest pumpkin in the patch <laughs> so if you're looking for some really cool Halloween limited edition merch then check out the website link is gonna be in the description don't forget to like subscribe for more videos go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff if you want to see the full version of this reaction you can click the patreon link down below and now without any further ado let's get into it let's do this I'm so excited you have no idea I think you have some idea from dust till dawn newly reopened oh so it's been a minute they fixed the store. Not really from around here. That's a design. That's a really cool design, actually. She has red eyes. Interesting. She's got two little guns in her in, these, in this back holster. She wears heels. Bless you. I like her design. The, the mint hair color is really cool with the nice tan skin. But the red eyes. Are you bad? I knew you were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut up. <laughs> Mercury. Not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. <laughs> Did she just pickpocket that man asking for directions? Is that what this is implying? That she just stole that from the guy? Whatever. You want me. <laughs> That's not attractive. Just a note for any guys and girls actually watching this. Anybody, really. That doesn't work. <laughs> if you're getting nose and, and clear discomfort from the opposite person, Take it. Don't think that they're playing hard to get. Please don't. They're not interested. They're not interested. Let it go. Okay, moving on. Tall buildings, diverse culture. And nice, dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's... Ah, uh, they did pickpocket. Okay. Ooh, Emerald, Master Thief! Emerald. Please don't take my money. Emerald you and Mercury. You have enough to get by. Interesting. Okay, so they're, you know, thieves. Little classic street thieves, I guess. Pickpocketing is their game. What else do you do? Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. Yeah, <laughs> okay. How may I? Uh... Oh. How may I help you? What was with that reaction? Is it because of the red eyes, or is it because you know her? Just browsing. I was wondering. Yeah, she's not. Do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Would you like a copy? No. Okay, what are you doing? Are you about to threaten this man or something and he knows eh. it? What about Third Crusade? There it is. I don't believe we carry that one. Oh. Why? What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. Oh, this is weird. I don't I don't know what's going on, but it's weird and it's going to be bad because the music's bad. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep. Okay. Tuxin. Why? What I what? hear you're planning on leaving. Oh. Going all the way to Vacuo. Oh. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. Oh, brothers in the White Fang. So you guys are part of the, the White Fang? You know why we're here? Yes. Okay, Wolverine. <laughs> That's like the first thing I thought of. Anybody else? Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, no? Come on. Are you going to fight back? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's technically not his power. His brother is the one that has the claws. Wolverine's brother is the one that, that technically has the claws. But that's fucking close. That's close enough. That is giving me Wolverine vibes, especially this shit. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Did they kill him or did they just beat him up? <gasps> Hi. What you doing? Uh, hi. Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus, that was so random. So Yang though. Also so me. I'm a huge fan of doing that shit. As a matter of fact, let me go get some grapes so I can show you. That's how much of a thing that is with me. I'm gonna show you my skills. Okay, I grabbed one of my frozen grapes, which by the way, 
If you don't freeze your grapes, what are you doing? It's like one of the most refreshing snacks you could ever have. And they're delicious. And I got a fair size one, so you guys know. I, I love doing this shit. I'm pretty good at it. Ready? It's been a minute since I've done it, though, but I think I can get it in one shot. There it is. Frozen grapes are the best, man. Mmm. Do it. Fun fact about me. I can't get brain freezes. I've never gotten one, and I can't. Me, and I guess those who also are immune to brain freeze, but we're born with a naturally thicker roof of your mouth. So there's like more space in between. So it is impossible to get a brain freeze. I've never gotten one and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I, that was my little ADHD change. Let's get back to the actual episode. <laughs> well done, Yang. Okay, Ruby. Best day ever activities. Okay. Sisters, friends, mm -hmm. wives. Hey. <laughs> that was good. Sisters, friends, wives. <laughs> That was good. Talking about kicking off the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with a yang. Eh? Guys? No, even the music, even the music's changing. No, baby. No, not not that one. Classes start back up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Which is why I've taken the time to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. Oh, God. To be proud or scared of what you have in store. Yeah. I don't know. Damn. I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. Wait, I forget. Do they know she has the ears or that she was just part of Fang? I don't remember. Man, that's harsh. So oh. We were fighting side by side and she was super fast and I threw... Oh, so he's allowed here. Okay, that's I cool. Gross, but it was awesome. Nice. Right? Ooh, I love his hair. Part is, she's a faunus, but that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a so it is still a secret. So she didn't tell them. She just said she was part of, of the White Fang. Interesting. I love this guy's design. I think that's a very, very cool, like, hairstyle, the color, the goggles. The, it goes well with the blue eyes. I like this character. I'm really excited for you to meet them. So be cool, okay? You're gonna be cool, right? Dude. <laughs> Stop it. I mean, he's just like, dude. I am the definition of cool. Okay, buddy. Oh, God. and I love it. Delicious! And the girls are just there to back her up. Oh my God. Wow. Turkey punching gloves. Excellent. Excellent use of the poultry. Okay. Yes! Uh, yes! I love the Yake and Blang freaking fighting duo. Did I, what did I just say? Did I just say Yake and Blang? I love the Yake and Blang freaking fighting duo dear god i am so sorry i was gonna say i love the yang and blake fighting duo i think i was just way too excited watching it that i really didn't like focus enough on my words to actually say them properly i think that's what happened <laughs> oh yes blake come on baby i love you both but team blake well done yang oh come on of course ruby of course okay why is with the kid This is so unserious. And they just mimicked all of their traditional weapons. I love that. Where the fuck did you get a swordfish? Guys, guys, don't leave me. <laughs> they're so stupid. I paused it right here, but they're so stupid. I love it. ability what an ability man she is op oh blake my baby uh oh ruby ruby come on win it win it for the team oh the music yes get it get it get it oh okay ruby oh wow and she made a masterpiece that looks awesome you can't even see them in it. You can see like the outlines of them fall. Yeah, there they are. I love these guys. <laughs> I love these guys. To me, bro, is me. Oh no. Hi. That's not what it looks like. Oh shit. I mean, look, look how easy you were able to fix that. See, it's not really a big deal then, right? Not a problem. Do not 
away with your food. Do not play with your food. There's Yang Jesus. It took you that long to fall back down. What the hell? They're supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. Yeah. But right now, they're still children. Oh. After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. Oh. That was cute, though. I like him. He's great. Oh, look. She sent the kids again. This is turning out just like the divorce. This is turning out just like the divorce? What are you talking about? She sent them again. This is turning out just like the divorce. What? Were you with that big bad villain chick who I don't have a crush on. Anyway, I'm just gonna watch the show. <laughs> now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. Listen, you little punk. Interesting. To me, I would take you and your little street rat friend. You what? Oh, is that her? Oh, hi. Hmm. Ay, ay, yay, yay. <laughs> She has Moscow's eye color too, so that's fucking not helping. It's kind of weird. It's like she kind of looks like me when I used to straighten my hair, but with Moscow's eyes. Is it weird? <laughs> Cinder. Uh, uh, Cinder. Cinder. We didn't know that yet, right? Her name's Cinder? Like Cinder Ace? Oh my god, that's my favorite Pokemon. I'm gonna stop. All right. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. Well, that answered my question. All right. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in veil? <laughs> I just thought... Don't think. Obey. Yes, mistress. <laughs> oh, no. I cannot describe what that line just did to me. <laughs> You'll know what you need when you need to know. That would work on me so well, so easily. We're done with dust. Oh. Okay. Why? Have the white fan clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Oh, her strut. We're proceeding to phase two. Oh, okay. What's phase two? Yeah! Well done. Well done, Emerald. <laughs> well done. I am fine. Are you fine? I'm fine. Oh, there was no end credits to this one. Oh, we're moving on to the next episode. <laughs> I will say though, I did forget to include something in my intro. Shout out to, is it Navi or Navy? Navy Fairy or Navi Fairy. I received this in my PO box, but apparently it has something to do with Ruby. First of all, can I just say this thing is so cute and plushy as hell. It's really, really plushy and it's soft and it's so comfortable, but the note said, I'm so happy you have been enjoying Ruby. I'm sure you will get a kick out of this when the time comes from Navi Fairy or Navy Fairy. I don't know what this means and I don't know how I'm gonna get a kick out of this when it comes to Ruby. We haven't been introduced to any kind of bees at all. Maybe there's a Faunus character that's like part bee or I don't know, something with bees. It's super cute though. I love it. It's got a little sting here. It's so cute. And uh, it makes for a great little pillow. So I'm just gonna include that in my chair now. But thank you so much for the gift. And I look forward to seeing when that comes around. And this one's called Welcome to Beacon, right? Yeah, so what's this about? Who's coming to Beacon? It's been too long. Mm -hmm. And Glinda, it has certainly been too Glinda. long since we last met. Mm -hmm. Masters don't typically travel with their students for the Vital Festival. Oh. Well, you know how much I love Vale this time of year. Okay. Besides, would you host him? Why is he only wearing one glove? Does he have a mechanical arm of some kind or something? The small fleet outside my window has me somewhat concerned. Well, concern is what brought them here. Oz, you hmm. and I both know why I brought those men. What's going on? Oh, you're noticing the stuff going on with like- in a time of peace. If what Crow said is true, then we will handle it tactfully. Uh, I don't know, man. There's some stuff brewing behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Maybe you might want to have some extra security, maybe at least. Which is why we will continue to train the best huntsmen and huntresses we can. Mm-hmm. Which has got to be Team Ruby, probably- Probably Team Jupiter? Or Juniper? Do you honestly no, Jupiter. children can win a war? Yes, I do. I, th I think so, because they're badass. Looks like I get to fly right over your Ursa and attack your walls directly. Wow. <gasps> you fiend! <laughs> you fiend! The little fingerprint design. Pretty sneaky, sis. Uh-oh. Well, you just activated uh -oh. my trap card. Woo! Giant Nevermore! If you roll a six or lower, oh my God. the Nevermore will turn on your own forces. Aren't the other two even playing at this point? <laughs> 
Ah, the Shnee stuff again. <clears throat> Interesting. No. Well, Lois, it's your turn. <laughs> so she just demolished Ruby and just left her in the dust. All right. Absolutely no idea what's going on. That's fair. Look, it's easy. You're playing as Vacuo, which means all. That's like me and Moscow playing Everdale, and then the one time we tried to get Morgan to play, and they were just like, I don't understand how this game works, and they were so glad when it was over. <laughs> See, now you can take Ruby's discard air flute. Oh, no! And put it in your hand. Okay. Cry. Yes! Fear the almighty power of my forces. Cower as they pillage your homes and weep as they take your children from your very arms. Drop her. Huh? was getting so into it and Yang's just like trap card nice try that was like in Yu-Gi-Oh I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh a bit too trap cards were like so helpful I hate this game of emotions we play <laughs> this game of emotions we play Right. Aww. Hey, can I play? Sorry, John. We've already got four people. I'll have you know that I've been told I'm a natural-born leader. By who? Mm. Your mother? No. And Pira. Pira. Hello again. Hello again. I love Pira. She's so freaking sweet. Ugh. You've trusted me with way more important stuff. That's fair. I mean, you told us all that Blake is secretly a fun-loving person whom we all admire and respect. <laughs> Oh, so, so we do know. I thought so. I was like, I thought we knew. Okay, so everyone pretty much knows. <laughs> but we're all pretending like it's still a secret. I got it. I got it. Ruby, Yang, Blake, Ice Queen. What is everybody Ice Queen? calling me that? Because you are. I never got a chance to formally introduce you to my old friend. Uh, aren't libraries for reading? Shut up. Don't be a nerd. <laughs> Shut up, don't be a nerd. I love this show. It's so stupid. I love it. It's stupid in a good way. You know, like the humor is silly and stupid like that. I mean it as a compliment. You know, they're not afraid to be silly with it, which I appreciate. You know, mixed in with all the action and everything. It's good. Intellectual, it's good. Okay. Intellectual, okay. I'm Neptune. So Neptune. Neptune. Where are you from? Wait, Neptune and Mercury. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. That's two planet names, but also Mercury could just be the metal Mercury. That worries me now. Is he related to Mercury in some way? If Mercury is taking the planet name and not the metal name? Because Neptune is also a planet, although Neptune is also, what is it, the Roman version of Poseidon, basically, as well? Interesting, interesting, interesting. And I don't believe I've caught your name, Snow Angel. Um, Snow I'm Angel. Nice. Oh. I think I'm done playing, actually. I'll see you guys later. Oh, you okay, Blakey? Joint business venture. Oh, oh. Come give her a hug. I'm sure that after a night of thwarting attempted robbery, you probably just want to go home and take a nap. Is this how she got in? I admire your drive, and I am proud to run a school that accepts individuals from all walks of life. Aww. Rich, poor, human, faunus. He's not dumb. He knows. He Why do you wear that bow, Blake? Why hide who you are? Oh, he knew. He knew right away. And he's like, why are you hiding? Oh! You need to start taking some larger strides. Until then, I'd rather avoid any unnecessary attention. I Aww. want people to see me for who I am, not, not what, you what I am. Yeah. How did you know the White Fang would be at the shipyard tonight? Oh. I, didn't. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Oh, no. -uh. You wouldn't have been the first. I may be your headmaster. He's not dumb. But I am also a huntsman. Yeah. And it is my sworn duty to protect this world from the forces that conspire against it. He knows. He, sure. he knows. Thank you for your time, Miss Belladonna. Miss Belladonna. You what? need to talk to me. What a cool last name. Please don't hesitate to ask. Oh, he's great. Please go talk to him. If you had just attacked when I told you, none of this would have happened. Stop. <laughs> so dramatic. Stop. Lately, you've been quiet, antisocial, and moody. Uh, have you met Blake? Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. That's pretty much our personality. Thank you, Yang. You made a promise to me. To you? To all of us. Uh -huh. That you would let us know if something was wrong. Oh, okay, that's fair. So, Blake Belladonna. <laughs> What's wrong? What is wrong? Jesus. Where did you get the chair? I don't understand how everyone can be so calm. You're still thinking about Torchwick? Torchwick, the White Fang, all of it. Uh, Something big is happening and no one is doing anything about it. Also, that you know of. Worry. They don't know the White Fang like I do. 
It's fair. She's got first-hand experience. Okay, I'm sure the three of you think you're all ready to go out and apprehend these ne'er-do-wells. I mean, there is stuff happening behind the scenes that they're not aware of in YouTube, Blake, but I think this is a bigger threat than everybody thinks it is. We're not ready, and we may never be ready. All in favor of becoming the youngest hunter says to single-handedly bring down a corrupt organization conspiring against the Kingdom of Vale. Say I. Yes. Ruby. I love it when you're feisty. Well... <laughs> Oh, wait, that was cute. Hold on. Wait a minute. That was cute. That was a cute little moment. She's like, I love it when you're feisty and Blake's little smile. Blake doesn't smile often, so that's pretty cute. I love it when you're feisty. Well, I suppose it could be fun. None of you said I. <laughs> None of you said I. Fucking Ruby. Why is she so funny? Why are her one-liners and her bits so freaking funny? We're in this together. Let's hatch a plan. Yeah. Ooh, I love my board game in the library. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, what'd you just are, run into? Are you okay? Just watch where you're going. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, shit, is this, is this phase two? Infiltrate the schools so that there's no huntsmen and, and huntresses to, to stop them? Oh, oh, that's smart. Oh, that's smart. Oh, shit. Visiting from Haven, actually. Haven. A, a different school, obviously, is it, I'm, I'm assuming what they're saying, but what? Oh, I just got chills, bro. Oh, shit. Maybe we'll see you around. Yeah, maybe. How do you believe that that's a student? Oh, uh, and welcome to Beacon. <laughs> welcome to Beacon. Oh, shit! That is not where you end it. That is where it ended! Oh, come on! Are you serious? Oh, that was so good! What a great way to start volume two! I was gonna say season two, but you know what I mean. Oh, wow! They're inside already? That's only episode two? How many episodes are in volume two? Hold on. Okay, there's only 12 episodes in volume two and three, it looks like. Oh, man. Okay, shit. I wasn't expecting them to do something like that so quickly. They're inside already. That's dangerous. Man, what a great freaking start to volume two, though. I loved those episodes. Those were fantastic. They were super funny, but they also had really good driving plot points, you know? I'm super excited for this. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to keep going with this volume. That was great. Loved it. We don't need to talk about my feelings with Cinder and, and I mean lack thereof. I'm, I'm anyway. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and tag me on my social media accounts. So I post out another cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, click the Patreon link down below. Also, guys, make sure to go check out the limited edition Halloween designs in the merch shop. Link is in the description. It's only gonna be available for October, and then these designs will be gone. So go ahead and check them out if you are looking to get some cool October merch. And uh, thank you again to Navy Fairy, Navi Fairy for the bumblebee. I will be looking forward to what this means later. I don't know when or where, but we'll see. <laughs> thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye!